Welcome to episode four of our Expert Tips series for designing and ordering Darmacon custom oligonucleotides. One of the top questions when ordering an oligo is, should I select to have my oligo purified? First, let's highlight what purification means in this case. Oftentimes, as researchers, we think of purification as removing impurities, such as enzymes or proteins, other impurities from a reaction. In chemical synthesis, purification refers to removing the non-full-length material so that the end product, that is, the product that gets sent to you, contains a greater representation of full-length material. Chemical synthesis of oligonucleotides occurs from the 3' end to the 5' end, but coupling efficiency is not 100%, meaning the longer the oligo is, the more non-full-length material you may end up with. Purification helps to remove this non-full-length material. The first determining factor of if you need purification is your application. Many applications, such as standard siRNA duplexes or PCR primers, are fine with some non-full-length material present. However, some sensitive assays, such as NMR or some cloning techniques, will be better with as much of the non-full-length material removed as possible. Beyond the application, we recommend purification when the oligonucleotide has parameters that are known to increase the presence of truncated material. This includes oligos longer than about 40 to 50 bases, oligos with modifications on the three prime end, oligos with modifications on both ends, and oligos with certain internal modifications. Some of the most popular modifications used throughout an oligo do not require purification, including 2 primomethyls and 2 fluorobases. Most other internal modifications often do come with a suggestion of purification. Popular examples are 4-thiouridine and pseudouridine. The two most common purification options are PAGE and HPLC. High-performance liquid chromatography purification is a form of column chromatography. Oligos of different lengths are separated based on either hydrophobicity, for RPHPLC, or charge, for IEHPLC. In polyacrylamide purification, the oligo is run on a gel using an electric charge, separating the different sizes of oligos, and the desired length is excised. While suggestions can vary among labs, our general recommendation is to choose HPLC between these two options. We've found it to be more efficient and effective. If you'd like advice for your specific oligo, contact our technical support team. We'll be glad to look at your sequence and offer our suggestions.